Hello everyone, my name is Bilal Abouassi, I'm from Chicago, and I've been thinking about doing a beard transplant for about two to three years now. I've always had the issue where my beard, I always had kind of a neck beard, and also I noticed that my hairline was receding, so I did some research and through a friend, I actually found Hair of Istanbul, and I reached out to them and they explained to me the process and everything. So. My journey started with pretty much coming to Turkey. They picked me up from the airport. They took me to my hotel and everything. They provided me food, transportation, basically everything I needed, answered any questions I had on the way to the place. Came to Istanbul, uh, one of the team members, they're all very friendly, picked me up from the airport, took me to my hotel, made sure to answer everything, any question I had about the operation, make sure to pretty much let me know and make me more comfortable in doing the procedure. A lot of people are scared of doing these type of transplants and especially going to another country because from Chicago, I found out about this place through my friend and didn't know much about them, but they made me feel very safe even before the operation or anything. So they took me to the hotel and pretty much the next day, they came and picked me up, took me to the facility and that's where I had my consultation the one thing I really like about this place, and I did a lot of research before I did my beard and hairline because it's something I've been trying to do for like maybe three to four years. The first thing that they did that I really like about them is they didn't just agree to whatever I wanted to do. So I had questions about my beard and I kind of wanted it like a certain way. And they did tell me like, if you want your beard to be aesthetic, it still has to look natural. And I like that they do that because a lot of people, like places here, will just do whatever you want them to do in terms of the amount of grafts and everything. So the consultation lasted maybe about 30 minutes. And when they draw your beard and everything, they actually take their time and it was very thoroughly explained in terms of what they're doing and what they're drawing. And pretty much from there, I also wanted to do my hairline. So they kind of drew that up for me and they explained everything. They, they answered any type of question I have because I did have, a, like I have a little scar right here. So they also made sure to draw it up in a way where it wasn't gonna mess with it. And along the way you will actually, because a lot of people here, they only speak Turkish, but you will have a translator following you at every point, basically accommodating all your questions and even needs, all the translators, were way more than translators. They basically helped me eat, they helped me throughout the whole process from like A to Z. So the, after they drew me up and everything, and I went in and they started uh, extracting everything, I'm not gonna lie, I was very nervous because I don't like needles, I don't like being surrounded by that type of stuff. And that's really one of the biggest issues I had before coming into it. But like I said from the beginning, they answered every question I had and they made me feel very comfortable. They, one thing I really liked too, I believe the owner of the company himself actually was a part of the consultation and was giving me all, answering all types of questions and giving me suggestions on my beard and not just pretty much like adhering to whatever I wanted them to do. So, and that's really important because if you were to get like a beard designed in a way that doesn't look natural, everyone right away will be able to tell it's a beard transplant. And my goal was for it to be aesthetic, but also looking very natural on me. So through the second part, when they were extracting the follicles, I, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be really painful, but the way they numb you and the way they were working on it, I didn't feel any type of pain throughout that process. Now, after that, they actually, the translator through the whole operation, through the whole consultation, will walk you through everything, will answer any question you have. They even gave me a menu to choose food from. So I chose some food and after the extraction, I came out for a bathroom break and the translator following me everywhere, pretty much fed me and everything. So I really liked that about this place. The second thing that I really like is when we went back to the operation and they were opening the channels. Of course, you will have to have some type of needles where they will inject the anesthesia so you don't get any type of pain during the operation or, 
or any of the steps for the operation. So I would say it, if you even are really afraid of needles, it's only going to be like a couple minutes of pain and then you will not feel any type of thing after that. And the pain is not like something that's really harsh. It's something that you can get to easily. It feels like a really hard poke and then it starts getting easier. So, and throughout the whole operation, you wouldn't even feel scared because you, you're allowed to call the translator any second or wave them off. And they do have, I believe there was about like four to five people and even the owner of the facility was coming in and out and checking up on me. So I really did respect how they take their time with their customers too. So after the channel part was done and everything, they let me go for another bathroom break. I had a few more questions after that too. And the translator was pretty much there for me, just answering my questions. And while answering my questions, they're still making me feel really safe, which I really liked that. That was, that, that helped me a lot in not enduring any pain or being worried. So then when I came back and they already were gonna start putting the follicles in, because me, I wanted to do hairline and beard, this, I'm not going to lie, is gonna be a little bit more difficult than just doing one of the each because you're basically doing two operations. So I basically experienced, even though it wasn't bad, it was the worst type of operation that you can do because you're using a lot of grafts. I believe 5,400 grafts were extracted, if you guys are interested in knowing that. And while they were extracting my follicles, Again, pretty much the process is after they opened the channels of the hairline and beard and I took my break in the aid and came back, answered any questions I had. Before they do any step, they will tell you exactly what they're gonna do and they will be checking up on you during the operation. Like I mentioned earlier, the translator is literally available just by waving your hand. And another thing is when they started doing the operation, after the anesthesia, uh, needles that they put in your forehead and then the face. The face was a little bit more sensitive than the, than the forehead, but it's kind of something that pain that you just experience for a little. It will sting a little bit, but you kind of, like two minutes later, your face is completely numb. I was very numb during the operation. I had three people operating on me, but I only found out about an hour into it that there was actually three people putting the follicles in which kind of sped up the process, but also was really good because when I opened my eyes and looked up, there was three people around me injecting needles that I didn't even feel. So it's like, imagine somebody hitting you, but you don't feel nothing. So they did a good job numbing, making it pain-free. They also do offer you to take breaks and everything, and you're welcome to take a bathroom break or ask any questions during the most intense part of the, tr the procedure. So, this, this right now is like the day after. As soon as I was done with the procedure, they walked me through some medications I will have to take later. They asked me how I feel. Also during the operation, you will have, they will be drawing like your heart pressure and everything. So they do check up on you 100% of the way. As soon as the operation was done, the translator had walked me through a few questions that I had and procedures to follow. And they pretty much like, even though they say some people experience dizziness after these, I didn't experience much dizziness. I pretty much just walked out. And even they had about like four people surrounding me making sure I wouldn't even take a step without them accounting for it, which I really liked that to be honest. I felt like I was treated way better than anything, which is actually the reason I'm even participating in this. But as soon as they, they put me in the car, they took me to the hotel. They told me how to sit, how to lay, how to avoid messing with any of the graphs or anything, because that was something I kept pretty much complaining about, just because I just was very scared of my graphs and not understanding how it worked, how sensitive it would be. But throughout the whole process, they explained everything, and I just kept seeing it as time passed by, I became more comfortable. So at the hotel, the way they taught me how to sit and everything, I was fine. I, they give you medication, so I slept well that night. The next morning, they came again, and they pretty much um, followed up on the medication and stuff. Um, the one thing that I will say with this company that I don't think you will 
notice with another company because I do have friends that use other companies is when the hotel that they take you at, they also have their own workers there walking you through breakfast, double checking on you. I had, I had somebody that took me to the procedure that actually is still following up with me earlier this morning and I was seeing him at the hotel. So they do go above and beyond for their customers. That's one thing that's guaranteed. After I had my breakfast and everything, today they took the bandages off. Again, anything they do, they will make sure like they are not inflicting any type of pain on you. And again, I've met two translators, so they will have a translator with you at all times, regardless of where you're from, just making sure that you understand what's going on. Because I don't even know a single word in Turkish or anything, but I have been pretty much explained the whole process and everything, and I had no issues communicating with anybody. This is day two of the operation. Um, I pretty much ate breakfast and there was a lot of questions that I had even during that process, which they helped me out with. For example, when you, depending on whether you're gonna do a hairline or beard, when you do the beard transplant, or this area will kind of be like a little bit more sensitive. So they do walk you through everything in terms of how you're gonna eat. They give you straws to take any drinks and they follow up with medication and they explain to you when to take your swelling medication, your antibiotic medication, and your painkillers. The good thing that I really like out of the whole experience is up to this point, as you guys can see, I'm walking and I'm up and I've been talking for a long time, so I don't have feel any type of dizziness. The only thing that pretty much, which is a part of this, you will expect it no matter where you get it from, is the swelling. There's, there will be bumps on the areas but that's expected to go out probably no, last no more than a week, if that. And they do give you medication for it. And I didn't even have to, like, I used one painkiller after the operation. And when I slept the next morning, I was good. So they do give you more painkillers. But for me personally, doing the hardest type of surgery, I still didn't feel that much pain. And the next day after you do the operation, they bring you to the, one of their facilities. They check up on you, they take the bandages off. I don't know if you guys can see, but they just took it off today. Um, there's no type of pain, I can lay down and everything. It all really depends where you get your grafts put. For me, it was most likely like just the hairline and beard. So when I sleep or lay down, it's pretty much just laying on a pillow, not trying to sleep on my side or anything and mess with the grafts. But they give you so many advanced tips on that, so you should not even be worried about that. Up to this point, you don't feel any type of pain. The only process is just gonna be you recovering and pretty much just listening to the steps that they give you because they will teach you how to clean it. Um, this is day two, so they haven't uh, cleaned this yet, but they will show you how to gently clean it um, and get it ready for the time when you're actually gonna end up cleaning all the scabs off. So that will be tomorrow morning before my flight, and that's pretty much the final step of everything. Um, I highly recommend this place. Again, I'm not affiliated in any type of way with them. As you guys can see, I just did my surgery here. And there was, I was very skeptic in the beginning, but you know, I just kind of had the balls to just say, I wanna do this and I went through with it and I couldn't be more satisfied. So Arab Istanbul, highly recommend it.